Hello everybody and welcome to 2016 because I haven't seen you yet this year. Oops. I got really caught up in preparation for BroadwayCon and then BroadwayCon itself and then I got con flu after and it's just been a series of weird for about a month and a half now. But I'm back and I wanted to finally share with you all of the books that I got for Christmas or at least over the holidays. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste whose last name I cannot pronounce, but I've heard really, really, really good things about this. So if you've read it, let me know how you like it. From what I understand about this book, it's about family and tragedy and secrets and the kind of glue that keeps a life together. I also got Carry On by Rainbow Rowell because I like to own everything Rainbow Rowell. In this particular edition, I'm really glad that I have in hardback. It's beautiful. If you read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, then you know this is kind of the fan fiction parts of that novel. She made an entire story out of it. I'm really excited to read what she did with that world she was creating. I actually bought this for myself. It's The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. And I really like Sherman Alexie, but I don't think I've actually read this. I've read a lot of his short stories and some of his poetry. Just a very influential Native American author, and I hear wonderful things about this. It's apparently life-changing, which I'm very excited about. Black Dove, White Raven by Elizabeth Wine. Wayne. I really like this author. She wrote Codename Verity, Rose Under Fire, and I am in the process of trying to collect all of them because I really like historical fiction. Historical YA is something that I'm really interested in, partially because I don't think I'd be very good at it. And so I'm fascinated by those who can do very well. Yes Please by Amy Poehler because I love Amy Poehler and I have yet to read this book, so I'm excited. I also got the next two books in the Strike Novel series by Robert Galbraith, aka JK Rowling. I actually haven't finished the first one yet, but I'm almost done with it and it's on my list to finish this month. I also plan on finishing the first Ransom Riggs novel in the Peculiar Children series because I'm almost done with that too. I'm also currently reading Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen because I'm part of a Jane Austen book club for the year. I think they're reading them in order of when she wrote them, but I could be very wrong about that. I, I really don't know. I'm just trusting them to tell me when to read a Jane Austen book because I like reading Jane Austen. And when I finish at least two of those, the next thing that I'm going to start is The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion because I love Joan Didion. Susie at Read Susie Read read this over the holidays and absolutely loved it. And Susie's actually started making videos again, so she has some good recommendations up on her channel. I'll put a link to the last couple of videos she's made in the description so that you can get a taste of what a real librarian has to tell you to read. That's all that I have for you today, and I will try my hardest to make this into a more weekly habit. Bye! Hi, Kinsey! Say hello!